What is up, guys? I'm Morrison Ray. Guys, a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. It's been a while since my last episode, but today we're gonna be talking about something that um, I was expecting, but apparently not everyone was expecting, uh, which was Alex Smith's release. Uh, I thought it was a no-brainer that it was gonna happen, or that he was gonna move on from the team. I personally, that's how I felt about it, but you know, I'm not gonna. Not trying to toot my own horn, but it was obvious if you didn't see it coming. So, more of the thing is, um, let's talk, let's first address one thing before we really delve in. The GQ article was not Alex Smith saying anything against the Washington football team. He was not saying a displeasure towards the football team. How it was more of him telling the story. Do you blame Washington for not wanting Alex to be part of their plan? This is a guy that could have lost his life, could have lost his leg. And you're, people tell him, I mean, and the people in the doctors are like, well, I mean, yeah, he can play. Not necessarily should he, but yeah, he can play. And so, you know, Ron and Ron wanted to, Ron was ready to win. But you know what? It worked out. Alex pleaded his case to Ron in a meeting to let him stay on the team, and he let him stay on the team. He was third string, then got moved to second string, then he became the starting quarterback and led us into the playoffs until his calf got hurt. To say that Alex was attacking Washington is the most ludicrous thing you could say. Washington saved Alex's career, and he knows that. If Washington didn't give him an opportunity to play, nobody would have ever probably taken a chance on him. Yes, he won't come back to play the year. That's freaking amazing. I mean, I'll, I've yet to meet Alex. I hope to meet him one day. But Washington is ready to win. And Alex is 36. He isn't going to be playing forever. We don't know how much more he has left in him. So Washington is ready to move forward with a younger, more stable quarterback for the future. That's why they're looking after people like Mariota, Prescott, Carr, Watson, even Wilson to an extent. Because we have to be ready for a team that's ready to win. This team is ready to win. The defense is stacked. We got so much. We just need a couple pieces on offense, like one or two pieces on defense to just amp up just a little bit more, and we're there, you know? So... What do I think about us releasing Alex, and what what do I have to say? That's essentially what I needed to say. It was more, it was expected because we are moving on. We are not the team that um, traded for Alex. That was the Gruden regime and the Allen regime. This is the Snyder, the new GM, the Rivera regime. Alex even said in the GQ article, they, they didn't want me there because they didn't pick me to be there. They inherited me. That's the thing you got to understand. When a new coach comes in, he's just, just because you're a star player doesn't mean you're going to work in the system. Because you worked in the system with the last guy. This is a new one. You know? So you have to take that into consideration when you're thinking about how do the factors come into place. Ron Revere did not trade Kendall Fuller for Alex Smith back in 2018. Ron Rivera was still the head coach of the Carolina Panthers. Am I I am eternally grateful for what Alex has done for our team. In 2019 when he was super successful, when he was healthy, he led our team to a 6 and 3 record. We were top of the division, ready to make the playoffs. And then he got hurt. The rest is history, Project 11, so on and so forth. The legend continues. I want the best for Alex Smith. And Alex Smith, if you ever see this video, I want nothing but the best for you. You are an inspiration to, I mean, every human on earth for what you've gone through and where you are now. You're one of the most inspirational people on the planet. I just want to one day sit down and have a conversation with you and just talk to you about everything. So thank you for what you have done for Washington. You put us on the map when everyone else wrote us off. Just like how everybody was starting to write you off. And you put yourself back on the map. 
I have yet to meet you, but I already know the day when the day comes that hopefully I do. You'll be one of the most stand up people I've ever I'll, I will lead the conversation saying that's one of the most stand up people I've ever met. And I can't wait for that day to come. And thank you so much for what you did in Washington. As speaking for the fans, we love you. We are so thankful that for what you did. And we want nothing but the best for you going forward. You're an inspiration to us all. And where do I hope Alex goes? Ah, I, I can see him going to Chicago, uh, Jacksonville. Um, I could see there's a couple teams I could see him going to. Uh, definitely a place that it, I would, mm, you know, it, hey, Miami. Miami could be a spot. They might want him to kind of teach up to a little bit, you know, get him going. You know, I would, I would suggest, I would, I would be very shocked if it's not a team that has a young quarterback that they're trying to develop, because he has proved on and off again what he could do. Back in San Francisco, when he had Colin Kaepernick, and Colin Kaepernick went out and played like a superstar. When he trained Patrick Mahomes, who is arguably one of the best athletes in the world right now, and. Washington, he had a hand in on Dwayne Haskins, and Dwayne Haskins said he was such a big influence. But don't take Dwayne Haskins as an example. Dwayne Haskins did it to himself. That was all him. But uh, the the ability Alex has to mentor young QBs is astounding, amazing to watch. And I'm excited to see where he goes next and what he does next because I know he's going to succeed great at wherever he goes because that's just the type of person he is. His drive is harder than any other. His work ethic is more intense than any other. And I know he's going to do great things very soon. Uh, but, yeah, for the Washington fans that this that came to this to be a surprise, look, COVID is having its – um, hits on the NFL this season. And one of the big hits is going to be in the cap space. The cap is only at 180, I think. It's the, I don't know if it's the top or, the, or that's the bottom. I can't remember. Washington is like fourth in the league in cap now because of cutting Alex. We'll say just 15 million because we are ready to compete. We're ready to compete in the playoffs to go for Super Bowl. We arguably played the best football Tampa Bay faced all playoffs. Heineke, a four-string signed in November or December, almost beat the Bucks. We are ready. We are there. Heineke is back. I think I don't think our QB for the next our big QB that's going to be the starter is on our roster yet. I think we're still yet to find him. But when we do, we'll know. And I think Heineke is going to be great just having a room. Maybe he'll be the starter. I I think we'll give him a fair shot. We can't we can't go off of one game, but I think we'll give him a shot. You know, see what he can do. He earns it. So yeah, don't be sad because Alex is gone. It's ending to a good chapter. Glad we all got to witness it as Washington fans. So just soak in the past couple of years, all that we've learned, all that we've witnessed. Let's get excited for the future. And cutting Alex could help us get that big receiver. Could help us land Allen Robinson. Maybe Kyle Van Noy. Maybe some of these other free agents that are yet to get cut or that will get cut from the team. Or maybe like a Dak Prescott. Because Dallas is going to have to free up a lot of space if they want to tag him. Just saying. So, wink. So, uh, yeah. So, just get excited for what's coming. And, Yeah. Hope you all have a great day. Make sure to stay safe. Thank you for watching today's video. Uh, I'm Morris. Make sure to subscribe down below. Make sure to check out all the, link, all the links down below. Make sure to hit that bell button so you're notified every single time with a brand new episode of Washington Station. And I'll catch you next time. I'm Morris, and I'm out. Peace.